Welcome to the Sunfish HRSIS demo video. This demo provides a general overview of the features and functionality of Sunfish HR. After logging into Sunfish, users are able to view a dashboard which provides real-time analysis of different HR aspects. You can add or remove items from their dashboard such as smart alerts. Smart alerts provide users information when certain data passes expected thresholds. They can adjust such alerts to notify them when problems occur such as a too high turnover, sudden increase in payroll costs, too little recruitment activities, late performance reviews, and so on. For example, if the current number of open positions is normal, click the configuration icon on the alert for open positions and increase the threshold, so this alert will not show until there are a higher number of open positions. Additionally, charts allow users to obtain an overview of data such as employee headcount and drill that data down to deeper levels of detail such as development and technology department. Users can add additional tabs to the dashboard by clicking the folder icon on the right screen and then clicking the plus sign to create a new page. Double click on the title new page to change the title of the page, for example call it payroll, and then go to the left of the screen to open the dashboard menu. Now, drag one of the menu items onto the page. On the right side of the screen, use the plus and minus signs to zoom in and out of the page. or click the arrows to move between pages. Notice the trend indicators, they compare data change over time and identify concerning trends. Other chart types such that are used for displaying different attendance issues for example, also give an overview of trends and let users investigate the data by zooming in to see data details such as a leave spike at Christmas etc. To see the structure of the organization, select the organization menu and then click organization structure. Click the company name chart icon to show the following diagram. Blue boxes contain organization departments and divisions and brown boxes display only individual positions. To investigate the chart you can right click on a box and centralize the chart to only that box. As well as collapse or exad lower levels of the chart. The chart display can also be zoomed in and out. From the organization structure menu you can also click on a specific department to view a list of the employees and positions in that department and then click on a position name to view or print the job description. Sunfish HR captures detailed employee information which can be accessed through the employee information menu. Here you can see a complete list of employees for which you have access. You can filter the menu here or create inline filters by clicking on the column you want to filter. To view an employee's detail, click on their employee number and select the icon for the appropriate category you want to view, such as the employee's personal information. Personal information contains several tabs of information including the employee's address which you can click on the map icon to locate the employee's home on a map. The employment data section contains information about the employee's job and work history, and the additional info section contains a range of other available information about the employee. The main function of Sunfish's career administration is to transition employees from one position or status to another. Starting with a new hire through promotions, mutations, 
rotations within the same or an affiliated company and finally to termination. It also allows career administrators to acknowledge special achievements or discipline undesirable behavior both of which may impact an employee's performance evaluation. To transition an employee from his or her current position. Select the career menu and then click career transaction. From the employee list select first the employee know and once inside his or her career history click the plus sign on the top and fill in the fields. The time and attendance module in Sunfish HR handles all areas related to an employee's work schedules, shifts, work time recording, and all issues that cause an employee's absence from work such as leave, sickness or others. Attendance data may influence his or her payment such as overtime, daily allowances, deductions, etc. Employees can use interfaced biometric card or other scanners to record their work start and end time or may record the data directly in Sunfish. To do so, they select the time menu and then click on my attendance entry form and click the start time button. This action creates a present status that can be viewed alongside information such as early or late minutes in the menu my attendance data. Once leaving the office employee returns to this form and clock their end times. In case employees aren't able to record their work time, the system reports them as absent. With the attendance correction request in Sunfish HR an employee can remedy an incorrect absence status. After opening the respective menu item, click the plus sign to add a new request. The basis for tracking all events affecting an employee's absence and presence from work is the assignment of work schedules that define their working days and hours. This can be done by clicking the Employee Shift Schedule submenu. Sunfish manages the events that affect employees' presence, such as leave, permit, sickness, on duty and overtime. All may run through a request and approval process. Employees can request leave, personal permit and sick days, through the leave request feature in the leave submenu. When clicking the plus sign on this page a form opens that allows them to choose whether the request is for annual leave permit or sickness. Depending on the leave type selection the system will display details on the remaining leave days and the period validity. If employees worked overtime, the feature Overtime Request in the sub-menu Overtime allows them to put in a request to track that overtime. Simply click the plus sign to specify the dates and times of overtime worked and once confirmed, it will be sent to the respective approvers. Sunfish provides an open self-service environment for employees to request reimbursements and check their balances and limits. Click the respective menu item and then the plus sign to add new requests. 
When selecting the reimbursement type the system automatically displays information such as remaining balance and limit per claim. Once the request is sent, authorized employees are able to process those requests quickly through approval and payment. They also have several tools to analyze reimbursement costs and spending. Sunfish's payroll module provides a series of functions for the complete management of all payroll activities including salary and tax calculation and processing, government reporting, tax form filing, bank transfers, etc. Employees can see their salary history data when clicking the My Salary History sub-menu of the payroll menu. Simply select the period for which you want to view the history using the calendar icon and then click display. Clicking the payslip sub-menu allows to previewing and printing of payslips for a certain month. The payslip contains information such as basic salary, allowance, deduction, and total salary received. Authorized users are able to print payslips once the payment process for the current period has finished. Once the payroll process has been run, a variety of reports in the payroll report sub-menu are available to review different payroll data. For example, if you click the payroll variance report, it will allow users to compare employees' salary data from one period to another and analyze differences between the two. Once on the page, select Cost Center, Payroll Period Code and Period to compare with. Then specify the report type and click Preview. Depending on your country a variety of government forms may be produced including Providence Funds and Tax Reports. Sunfish offers a highly configurable process for talent management including a basic appraisal system through the performance form menu, or a more comprehensive integrated performance management process which may start through the performance evaluation form. After selecting the employee for the appropriate current performance period, the system displays the performance evaluation form for the employee. This form consolidates many of the performance management processes including goal setting, appraisal of results and planning. The top section summarizes the various appraisal components, and the second section provides several tabs such as. The appraisal tab allows an appraiser to evaluate traditional performance appraisal questions which will appear automatically based on the employee's job. To ensure fairness in rating, the user can click on the comparison icon to compare how they have rated other employees for the same questions. The objective tab allows the user to initially set or adjust standard performance targets for employees at the start of a period and then evaluate the result at the end of the period. A view chart button allows the user to visualize the employee's gap between the targeted and actual performance. The competency tab allows the appraiser to review and adjust the employee's hard and soft skill ratings. Clicking on the competency name provides the appraiser with an explanation of the competency to help them select the appropriate rating.
the task tab provides an overview of the employee's performance for tasks they have been assigned during the period. The employee may be assigned tasks through the Sunfish dashboard or Sunfish mobile app. The employee will receive the task through email including reminders of due dates and needs to record actual task completion using Sunfish. The task tab will calculate a score for the employee based on the number of tasks completed on time and their priority. The user can adjust the calculated score based on their review of the tasks. The feedback tab displays a collection of all positive and negative feedback the employee has been given during the year. Employees are sent feedback as it is submitted and may respond to it. The discussion history is available to the appraiser and they are also provided with a calculated suggested total score from feedback which they may adjust. The evaluation history tab allows the appraiser to review past appraisals and disciplinary action or awards for their consideration in finalizing the current period ranking. After completing the evaluation, the appraiser is able to review and update planning for the employee including The training plan to review the employee's past training progress and assign new training. The appraiser can click on the competency gap link to have the system automatically recommend training for the employee based on any gap in the competency as rated above. The development plan to review any ongoing employee development process and add new developmental activities based on the appraiser's analysis of the employee's needs. The career plan to view the current employee career plan and adjust the plan for future positions. The succession plan to view the current successors and their readiness to assume the employee's position should they be promoted or resign. After completing the evaluation and planning. The appraiser can review the employee's final score and compare all their submitted scoring against a targeted distribution to ensure that they are not being overly strict or overly generous with the scoring for employees which they evaluate. The appraiser can also review any notes left by other appraisers for this employee and add their own notes. Users are able to see a consolidated overview of talent issues for employees they have access to through the Employee Development sub-menu. After selecting an employee the system provides current data for the employees. Career Plan allows the user to review and adjust the employee's career plan by clicking on the plan, reviewing suggested career steps for the employee and assign planned future positions with target dates. Current objectives of the employee and any available achievement information. Evaluation history total scores for past periods and ability to view the detailed forms be clicking on a score. Succession plan for the employee and the ability to click on the current succession plan and adjust successes. Human asset valuation position to understand the employee's comparison between their most recently review of actual performance in comparison to their skill data. Clicking on the chart provides recommendations for development actions which may be added to the employee development plan. Development plan summarizes the number of ongoing development actions of different types and allows the user to click on any type to view history of those activities and manually add new development activities. Competency match provides an overview of the employee's hard and soft skills in comparison to the requirements of their job. Open vacancies suggests open internal vacancies which may be applicable to the employee and allows the employee to be submitted as an applicant for that position. 
Tasks provides an overview of current tasks assigned to the employee. Feedback provides an overview of recent feedback submitted for the employee. Sunfish Training Administration helps manage training course scheduling and track the effectiveness of training. Administrators can manage training from the training course submenu. Editing a training course allows the user to configure basic course information, link courses to the competencies they held develop, attach training content for the attendees, and manage the feedback and evaluation questions to determine what data is tracked from training courses. After a basic configuration of the course, individual sessions, call training events, can be created where the administrator can define the location, agenda and determine how attendees can enroll in the training. Once the training is available, attendees may be scheduled as a result of their performance evaluation, or they may choose to register through the training calendar. After attending a training, the attendee can provide feedback through the training evaluation menu, and supervisors can also perform a training evaluation to rate the effectiveness of the training. All training results are summarized on the training rating tab, allowing administrators to understand which training is most effective and mark those courses to be scheduled more frequently while blocking further sessions of less effective courses. Sunfish HR helps plan for recruitment with manpower planning, and manage the complete recruitment process. A recruitment request is used to manage the request for UMA resources and analyze the needs of human resource toward the existing position vacancy. On the recruitment request form, the user can define the basic details of the position being recruited, and review the job description. The user may also set the collaborators who will be involved and adjust the selection steps which will be done in order to filter, review and select the best applicants. Finally, the user may adjust the pre-screening questions used to filter applicants and select the advertisement methods to be used in collecting applicant data. Applicants may apply online through the Sunfish online recruitment module connected to the company's website, or applicant data may be entered directly. All applicant data and review processes are managed through the applicant submenus where the user can filter applicant data by position applied, application process step or other criteria. After reviewing applicant information the user can reject an applicant, or move that applicant to a subsequent step in the recruitment process, including entering of applicant interview data and setting schedules for interviews or other processes. Thank you for viewing the introductory demo to Sunfish HRSS. For more information, please contact us through our website or by one of the alternative methods displayed on your screen.